Hey and welcome Good guys, pull up a seat, it's MJ Tom, how you been? I've been fine, and if this is your first time, then please do not be shy, hit the like and then subscribe, come and join me, have a bite, of the One Piece MJ Life, hey, hey, of the One Piece MJ Life, hey, hey, come and join me, have a bite. Today, we are eating fried chicken, and this is a place uh, we have had before, but we have never had their fried chicken very interesting i think it's an uh middle eastern arabic type of fried chicken because it has some uh seasonings let me show you and it's pretty dark uh has some green seasonings i don't know mm. i'm not quite sure what it is mm. but it's a whole chicken yep. a whole chicken that they cut up and then fried up and it sounds pretty crunchy uh but uh I guess we'll have to see when we eat. I hope, I hope, I hope it's good. I do have my fiance in the background, but he is off screen because, I don't know, I've been liking this um, angle. And then we have another uh, plate called shawarma plate. And it's a shawarma roll. And it has some Chicken. like potato wedges underneath. And it got a white sauce over here i think it's like garlicky something oh this is so good my mouth is watering let me just with something sour mm. love the piece of um lemon they give you because i just eat it because i love sour sour sweet not sweet sour savory food all right so in a ziploc bag <laughs> I got some hot sauces, okay? I brought me Tabasco with uh, green pepper. No, it's jalapeno flavor. And then I got the... Oh, it is green pepper because this is only pepper. And I got the regular, regular one. And then I also got the Frank's original. We have a similar, similar one to this. Uh, it's called something with cayenne cayenne sauce. So I'm pretty sure the main pepper ingredients in this are cayenne peppers uh, But it's really good. I like it. So what I will do is that I uh, What's it what's it called? I ripped off the lid of the one of the things so I'll just put my food that I'm gonna eat in this one and then eat it because you know it's a lot of uh but I'll, I'll take a couple of things so i have like a small plate here fries yeah sure Wait. but i would like some of that sauce oh that's enough Ooh, that's a lot actually <laughs> <laughs> it gave me too much fries <laughs> you can have some back um how do we do with the sauce? Because I want some sauce too. There's one here. Do you think it's the same? Brown. Yes, I do. I think they made the same sauce. Ooh. And they put it in uh, whatever it's called. Just so you can dip the chicken in it. Is it the same? Mm-hmm. Oh, it is. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you want me to turn this one over? So, I'm going to hold the food. Because I think that's just easier. Mm. Mm. So good. They put. They put fries yeah. in the bottom. Yeah, of the chicken. Mhm. Mm All right. Okay. You guys remember? Remember? I told you in the previous sushi video that I watched Squid Game, and Ivan is watching it right now, and I'm rewatching the whole series with him because. I seriously think it's that good. So, Ivan. Yep, yep. What is your first thoughts about the series? Let me know. Mm. And what is you guys' thoughts about the series too? First of all, I've just comments. seen like, um, I've seen like the first uh, five episodes. Mm -hmm. I remember the first two being really sad. That, that was like my first impression 
mm -hmm. that the, the series is really really sad try to give the opinion without like spoiling the yeah like, yeah, yeah. All right. mm -hmm. and then no it's getting to the point where it's more exciting it's more like more action more and games less, and less just uh, drama you know like uh, when, when a movie has like too much, too much sadness <laughs> sadness and drama and it just like oh you don't see like any way that it could work itself out or anything like not that it's working itself out now but at least it's it has a more light touch to it and now like the the only dark stuff now is like the the gory stuff like the bloody stuff mm. which i'm okay with i'm worse with like sad stuff oh. than i am with bloody stuff because i watch a lot of horror movies so i'm desensitized to like blood and stuff but sad stuff really gets me <laughs> mm. for some reason so yeah like brah the old man in the series <laughs> like everything he does gets me sad play one like everything he does just him being there gets me sad because yeah. he's so old. So I'm like, I don't know. Maybe it is me imagining like my own parents, my dad being old and being in a position where he has to defend himself against young people, against violence, you know, and, mm -hmm. and you know, the years take away your, your strength and your viability. Uh, viability Even one of the games where he was shaking with his forehand. I was like, yeah. oh my god. So sad, bro. Or like, when they said uh, they were picking different people to be able to create a bigger group. They needed a group of 10 people. And they were looking for people, and one guy said, oh, um, do you want to join our group? And he said, oh, um, I'm here with my wife. Can she join oh. too? Wow, that really, that hit me really hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because... Feel that when you see the series you automatically go into the to the thought process of what would I do if I was there and then that took me into the process of wow what if I was there with you mm -hmm. and then I would feel so much responsibility to protect you you know as, as your partner as your friend as a bro you're my best friend you're my and like even though we're super like equal in our relationship you're mm -hmm. still like my woman yeah, and you still I, like, feel the like, like responsibility to I actually protect. Do. Yeah, yeah. Like not not usually like for example like if you go to a restaurant, you can order if you want. If somebody talks to you, you can talk to them. I don't have to like speak for you. I don't feel that much of it. But like if anything would get violent, if it gets physical, then it kicks in, you know? Yeah. That like uh, primal instinct to defend a woman you know when it gets to like violence and stuff so wow yeah that really got me the old man got me the characters are really interesting uh, i remember you told me right away before we started watching it that the character development would be really interesting so i've been keeping an eye out for that like the main character is really interesting i i just hated him at first but now he's really funny mm. He is winning me over. I am starting to like him. So yeah. So far. Very positive. I'm very much enjoying this series. Mm -hmm. Very good show. Would you recommend the show? Definitely. The only thing that got me like. The only thing that. That held me from watching it before now. Was that. I saw so much so much about it on social media everybody talking about it constantly and i'm um, a bit of an anti yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah that's what got me because i was like wow you know i'm the type of person where if somebody gives oh. something to me for free i automatically go into thinking what's wrong with it why don't you want it why are you giving this to me <laughs> you know i'm a very skeptic person so when they're forcing something upon you i feel like there must be a reason behind it i believe in a lot of conspiracies and stuff and i believe a lot of weird stuff can go on in movies and series so i immediately got skeptic and and really like careful 
But hey, at the end of the day, you have to let it go sometime and just enjoy yourself, watch a series. Mm -hmm. Like, as long as you're mindful while watching stuff, it can't really hurt you that bad, I hope. And also, if you do watch, please watch it in the original language, Korean, with English subtitles. Because right, right. they do not catch the emotions of the characters when it's in English. I tried it. One time with uh, when the main character was having a conversation and I was just like, no, it's not catching it. And then, uh, you know, the crazy lady, when she wanted to go to the bathroom and she was screaming and, and um, uh, what's it called, banging? No. She was banging the door. Banging the door, right, yeah. Right. Uh, we also heard that one in English version and it just, it didn't sound right. So if you really want the emotions, watch it in Korean. Right. Like... You know, there's something, um, there's something cultural and like the way you speak, like the tones, you know, I speak three languages, we speak three languages, so we know this very well, that for example, the tone you set in your voice when you're angry isn't the same in English, in Swedish or, or the third mm. language we have, mm -hmm. so sometimes when you, when you hear a new language, it can be hard to like, to like uh, to understand to tolka you know to interpret it can be hard to interpret a vibe as a, a like a tone of voice you know like for example if somebody screams in a like somebody has a is, is screaming angry they can still have like a satirical like undertone right mm -hmm. like something like oh they're making fun of you while being angry and those things can be lost in translation if you dub it, you yeah. know? So that's why maybe it, it can be better to, to watch the, the authentic one. But also it can be confusing because sometimes you don't recognize like the tone. Because you, you, haven't, uh, you haven't heard the language before, mm. you know? So, like for example, like when you started learning Spanish, you had a hard time hearing when we were being sarcastic. Because the sarcasm sounds different in Spanish. Like the tone you set in your voice when you're being sarcastic is different from when you're doing it in English or in Swedish. Mm. So, That's you true. know, interesting uh -uh. stuff, you know. That's very, very true. But yeah, yeah, I've been keeping a, a thoughtful eye on the series. Honey, and I'm me. glad that you made me watch Just it. Chicken. <laughs> I, I find it really uh, entertaining, this series. But how are you guys doing? Let me know in the comments. I do have some ideas for foods, but if you have any um, suggestions on what you want to see, let me know because, you know, I can always see if I can, you know, have the food on my channel. Um, seafood is very hard because it's expensive and we don't have a lot of places that sell it so and we definitely don't have anywhere in this city that cooks it and you know that you can just go to and buy it yep. but yeah should I pres should I tell them about the idea we have about going to the I mean, bigger city I think that you should just leave it at that something is going on you are you are planning something related to seafood mm. something will be coming something really cool right but yeah 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 that's true i think i think you're right i should keep that for myself until i'm ready to present it to you guys right right but um yeah i am also working on uh decorating a little bit for um when i'm rec when i'm gonna record at home I know you get a lot of car mukbangs uh, back to back, but that's because uh, I've ordered some stuff for the home setup, uh, and I haven't received them, and I probably probably won't until a couple of weeks. So that's why you get uh, these car mukbangs back to back. But I'm gonna try to uh, decorate the wall so it looks different from what you've seen before because I feel like the wall I have right now is 
pretty like it's boring it's it doesn't you know give you a lot of character or you know it's not fun to to look at so um uh, yeah i'm gonna work on that so i'm really excited for all the things to arrive so i can start um you know fixing the wall by the way what did you think about the chicken Mm. We haven't even talked about it. <laughs> I thought it was really good. Ah? Uh, did you like it? Mm hmm I did like it. It was nice. I just... The appearance could be better. Because mm -hmm. the batter, uh, like how, the technique they used to fry it, um, I think they can improve. But the flavors were really good and I also like how it's cooked. It's not too dry and it's not too wet as well. Mm. Mm. You take another piece. Or is it too much to hold? No, it's a pleasure. Oh, it's a is one. that a breast? I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not good at identifying the, the difference. <laughs> is this a breast? I think it's. I don't want a breast. No. No, I don't think so. Okay, you want the small one? Yeah, give me that one. That's something different, right? Yeah. Okay. Let me see. You see the green, green stuff here? Mm. I have a cut inside under my nail. Ooh, and I got some seasoning. <laughs> Ooh, stinks. My roof. These rolls. The shawarma. Mm. So good. Wow. I'll never get over They're it. They're always good. Always. Go to. It's a real go-to. Wow. I'll never get over it. Get over it. How good they are. Mm. With the what's it called? Get another pepper. Pomegranate. Pomegranate sauce. Mm. Wow. A glaze. Yeah. Wow. Mmm. So this piece was really good. I'm gonna have some hot sauce on this. I'm just gonna stick to <laughs> Frank's cause um, my hand is dirty and um, and I have to screw the legs of the other. This one is just like a it's mine. Okay, don't come for me. <laughs> Yeah, literally yours because I don't even use it. It is literally mine. Yeah. No one else. It's just it. for her to to bring around her in her purse <laughs> for when we go to restaurants. <laughs> when they don't have hot sauce, she brings it. Yeah. She brings the heat. So uh, that's basically everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Ah, I bring the heat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, in Sweden it's everywhere because they don't they don't need a lot of spice part. here. Yeah. They don't. I never realized how much I use my. Uh, oh, what's it called in sweet uh, English? This thing here. Pig finger. Yeah. Index finger. Maybe. No. Yeah, maybe it is your index. The the finger you use to point. You know. Yeah. I think maybe it is your index. I realized how often I use it. Well, now that I tried not to. Mm. Why are you trying not to? Because I have a cut under. Oh, right, right. A cut under the nail. Is it from work? I think so. Shame. I work, I think. <coughs> oh. I think. I'm gonna have 
pulled or hit it somehow that the skin like removed itself from yeah, yeah. the nail, you yeah. know? But well, but let me change the subject. <laughs> no, and, and also, bro, before we change the subject, you're the only one with real with like nails at work. No, I'm not. You're not? Mm -mm. I haven't seen anybody with as flashy nails as you at work. We just talked about it today, me and two other girls. Yeah, but their nails weren't that nice. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sounds so shameful. <laughs> one Sounds of them really had shameful. red nails. I don't even know anything and about And the other nails. one was going to uh, yeah. do her nails. Don't don't listen to me. I don't know anything about nails, so. <laughs> hey, while we're on the subject also, in case Samuel would watch this, shout out to Sam, right? Mm -hmm. Our friend from work, the Australian guy. Yep. And that's his, his new nickname, the Australian guy. The Australian guy. Right? <laughs> the Aussie. It's always been his nickname. Big Sam! <laughs> Woo. Nice guy. Yeah. Super, he said he sometimes. Nice. Yeah. He said he sometimes watches your videos. So. Yeah, he does. He told me he watched the. The previous one. Was it was it a Shady Burger or McDonald's? One of those. Maybe Shady because he loves Shady too. Mm. Right. They told me he would watch one of those. Mm. I remember. So good. When we brought him to Shady just to show him that there was another Australian guy there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we took him to a, to a food restaurant. Um, and I was a like, hey place. Sam, uh, let's go to this place. We have someone uh, someone from Australia working there. <laughs> so he's like, oh, that's nice. Funny, you know, let's go. And as soon as we got there and as soon as the, he, he works as a waiter, and as soon as he came up to me, us, I mean, I'm like, hey, Sam, this is the Australian guy. The Australian guy. This is Sam. He's also from Australia. <laughs> right, right. Meat, you know. Yeah. But I just wanted to make um, make it awkward for Sam. That's, yeah. That's not the reason. <laughs> just to play with him. Yeah. But the funny thing is that he took it good because he started chatting with him. And they actually had a lot in common. Yeah, and, and the waiter... They got along well. The waiter... Um, Talked for us for like 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Talking with Sam. Yeah. And he brought out like his they inner talked about Aussie. football and I yeah, don't know yeah. what. Everything. And did you notice that like his accent got thicker when he talked to him? <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Because our friend Sam has been living uh, uh, in London. He has yeah. been living in England. England. So like his accent is a little bit like different from, from before he says. Yep. But, but like we could hear it grow thicker when he talked to the other Australian guy. Yeah, that was funny. So funny. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm full. Really? Because, yeah, you know, uh, no. I am. Because I don't want to eat more fried. Because I felt like three pieces is enough. And I asked my uh, lovely, lovely, loved uh, subscribers how long they would like the videos to be. And they told me they want around 20 minutes. Some of you guys wrote that. And I think there was one girl, she was so sweet. She told me, oh, it doesn't matter how long you mm. you uh, the videos are. I'm going to watch them anyways. That's and nice. that's really sweet. But um, And I know what you mean because I also feel that way about some of the mukbangers I watch. But I have to think about like the general, like mm -hmm. what's the what's good for the algorithm, what's right, good right. for, you know, everything. Yeah. So, <clears throat> and if anybody wants to watch even more, they can watch another video. Yeah, you can just right. watch another video. An That's right, you can go one. watch the old videos because sometimes right, right. the the people I subscribe to, I watch a video, but I forgot, you know, you after a time you forget like what the people, the, the person said in the video or how they, you know, I'm very, uh, I'm very big on uh, how they eat. Some of them, I have, I'm subscribing to some mukbangers just to eat, just to watch how they eat. Uh, some I uh, watch just because of the entertainment they uh, provide. Some of the mukbangers I watch are for creative ideas. So I have like mukbangers for different type of uh, reasons, you know? So, I don't know. I lost track of what I was saying, but <laughs> anyways... <laughs> 
20 minutes is where a couple of you commented uh, that you wanted it to be so I guess uh, that's what I'm gonna roll with try it out and see uh, how it feels and how yeah how it works I'm gonna I'm gonna try to have it around tw 20 minutes uh, maybe uh, minimum 18 minutes and maximum like 23 25 maybe but not 30 minutes to videos anymore I'm gonna try it out just to see how it is but yeah you guys uh, thank you so much for watching and being here with me and my fiance uh, I think he's gonna keep eating a little more and then we're gonna go and pick up his nephew and have him here but Thank you so much. Thank you many, many, many thanks uh, for watching and rocking with me, subscribing and being there for every video. I truly do appreciate it. So, for this ti time, thank you. Love you. Mwah. Peace out. And always remember, stay safe, happy and healthy. And always remember, peace, love, and understanding. Mwah. Bye. <laughs> Before I go, I did see your comments about wanting to see. Oh, excuse the noise. I, I'm having the door open and it's a lot. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys where we are sitting and how it looks. Let me just get out the car out of the car because it's annoying. All right, let me. Should I maybe turn it around? So this is the view that we had. That's the road that we drive on to get here. This is just a, it's not really a place to hang out. It's a lot of people come here to take out their dogs and uh, they take off the leash and just let them run around freely. Oh, look at the clouds and everything. It's so beautiful. It's so pretty, so pretty. And then we just sit here. I parked completely. <laughs> Not how I'm supposed to park, but because I had the sun there and I couldn't have it right in my face. So yeah, that's that. So I'm currently outside the car and i don't know what i'm gonna show you if i vlog but uh i i guess i'm starting off with this uh i don't know that my city is not that big so maybe if i go on road trips or visit my parents i can do a small vlog or when we go to a city where ivan has his friends maybe we can do a vlog where we go there and stuff like that but yeah this is where we usually record when we buy food from this part of uh, where I live and uh, yeah I, I hope it gives you some a small uh, insight on on yeah where I live <laughs> I guess I'm pretty awkward uh, in front of the camera right now and I'm saying ah uh, wait so many many times but Thank you for watching. I just uh, inserted this clip at the very end. So if you made it this far, mwah, you know you, you. You're the real thing, okay? <laughs> All right, you guys. Mwah, love ya. Bye.